that's work with a constant force. What we're about to talk about is work using a non-constant force. And this pattern that we're going to set up, where we use one set of equations for if there's a constant force or a constant variable, versus another set of equations if we have a variable changing. This is going to be pretty consistent. This is the first time we do it, uh, but you're going to see this many times in this class, where you have one for a constant force, for example, and one for a non-constant force. The equation for uh, work when the force is not constant. The equation is this. The work equals the integral from the initial position to the final position of the force with respect to position. I'll read it again. The work equals the integral from the initial position to the final position of the force in the x direction, and we are taking the integral with respect to x. Parenthetically, I have in my notes that you are, well, you are welcome to now freak out because there are many of you who have never seen this before. <laughs> well, you got to let it out so that we can move on. Come on, let it out. Oh, I have no idea what this is. I mean, Gary tried to read it. Right? So, <laughs> it, you've never seen it before, but you know what? It'll be okay. So here's the deal. Uh, for those of you who have not, who are in calculus for the first time right now, uh, you've never seen this before, and I have to teach it to you now because you're probably not going to learn it for at least a month in your calc class. For those of you who have already taken calculus, don't get upset with me. I'm not going to delineate the difference between a definite and an indefinite integral just yet. So just relax. It'll be okay. Breathe in. You're going to have to let a few things go. We'll, we'll bring in the definite integral, or I'm sorry, the indefinite integral when we get to chapter 9. Okay? If you have no idea what that is, don't worry. It doesn't matter. Okay, here's, again, 